What's up YouTube? It's Jacob from Always Fresh Apparel and today we have the plunder haul for March 2014. Now I know a lot of you are like, Yo, what? Jacob is sitting down for his plunder hauls. He always stands up and throws stuff on. I'm gonna do that, okay? I just had a, I just recorded another video and I was sitting down and I just decided, you know what, let's just click record again and let's get into this plunder haul. I'm just gonna show them like this and then there will be an overlapping video that shows what they look like on me, okay? So do not fret, I will still show you. Now I wanna give a huge thank you again to Plunder and to Erica for making this always a possibility. It does mean the world to me. So for this kind of video, I know that, so all my clothes are in here. I know that spring is coming up and I know that you need to kind of start copying a little bit more lighter outerwear and a little bit more t-shirt um, weather kind of stuff. But I kind of went heavy on the jackets and heavy on the outerwear because the thing that's kind of hard for me is that since I know this is like first world problems, like extremely first world problems, this is gonna sound terrible, but since I am doing a video every month for plunder, um, it kind of does become a little more of a challenge for me to be able to pick out clothes that I haven't seen yet and clothes that I personally wanna wear and clothes that I know that you guys will like. First world problems, so that's kind of why it's, it's kind of just sporadic sometimes because it is kind of just at random times and they do have random sales. Uh, I try to pick out stuff that I like personally, depending on whether it's in the season or not. So let us just start with the gear right now. So for this video, I have about six or seven items and it ranges anywhere from a t-shirt to a button up to a Henley to jackets. So let's get into the t-shirt first. We're gonna get into the clothes in one second, but the easiest way to let me know that you guys are feeling this video and feeling the content is to hit that thumbs up and like button down below. It lets me gauge how much you guys like the video and what I need to put more out of. And that actually didn't make sense, but you guys know what I mean. So let's get in. All right, you guys, first up, we have this all polka dot black and white t-shirt from Publish. It has a pocket right here, as you guys can tell. Bang, bang, killing them, swagging me out, 300. Um, I went size large on this. Um, to me, published tees run a little slim fitting, which is fine. They also run a little bit longer. So if you guys kind of did want to get a slightly longer fit, Publish kind of does do that. Not much else to say. It's an extremely, extremely simple t-shirt. And right now, when I'm talking, there should be an overlay of me throwing on the shirt. So that's what I plan on doing. So here you guys go. Size large black and white polka dot shirt from Publish. Definitely a, a really simple uh, spring summer essential right here. All right, you guys, next up, we had a long sleeve button up from a brand called Uniform. Um, but what I did is I said, you know what, spring's coming up. So I chopped off the sleeves, rolled it up a little bit to get you a little fruit roll up action and made it into a short sleeve button up. Um, I know I'm gonna get questions like, yo, how did you cut, how did you make it a short sleeve? And honestly, all you do is cut off the sleeves. I don't need to make a DIY for it. So it's really simple. I mean, just experiment with it. Always cut a little bit longer because you can always cut more off, you can't cut less off. So that's just a little tip for you guys. Um, me personally, I probably wouldn't buy this again. Um, no offense to uniform, but the, it feels extremely stiff. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be a very comfortable shirt. Uh, not very breathable. It's kind of almost like a nylon-ish material. It's not the greatest short sleeve button up I've, I've ever probably dealt with, but it's definitely navy, and I wanted to get on Navy Nation, Navy Nation, because I've talked about it in past videos. I think it's gonna be a huge staple for spring. So here you guys go. You guys can tell I'm now on Navy Nation. So there you guys go. All right, you guys, next up, we have something that I normally probably wouldn't cop, and that's why I think these plunder hauls are kind of uh, beneficial to me and you guys, because um, I am able to experiment with things and try things that I probably wouldn't normally do. So we have it, it's from Blackscale. Like, I love Blackscale, as you guys know, but it's like a knit Henley, like a knit, it's okay, it's a combination between a Henley, a turtleneck, and like a knit sweater. So as you guys can see, the neck does kind of come up pretty high. It's a Henley hybrid because of the buttons, and it's like a knit sweater because of the material that it is. So I'm not sure how to style this. I'm really not sure how to wear it, but it definitely has a longer feel to it, as you guys can tell right here with the kangaroo pouch down here. I will show you guys what it looks like on me. It kind of more is a preppy look. Something I'm not normally used to, but since Black Scale is branching out, why can't I branch out, right? So here you guys go. This is a size medium. I would definitely recommend going your true size on these. It fits pretty slim fitting, which is kind of what you want when you're kind of going for that look. There you guys go. All right, you guys, next up, we're going to get into the heavier outerwear. And I know for some people down in like California and Florida, like you're just like, oh God, this would be way too hot for me. But in Portland, it's still about 40 or 50 degrees, so I'm gonna bust this out. We have this all zip knit hoodie from uh, Supreme Being. Now this is some of the softest, soft, look at that. Some of like the softest Mr. Rogers cotton I've ever felt in my life. 
To me, I feel like Mr. Rogers when I put this on. But the inside of it is so smooth. You guys don't even understand how comfy this is. So I had to pick it up. Well, I didn't know it was gonna be comfy when I picked it up. But uh, now that it is really comfy, I'm extremely glad I picked it up. I went a size large, so I kind of could get not really a total slim fitting uh, uh, zip hoodie, because usually you layer with zip hoodies. But here you guys go, Supreme Being size large, extremely comfy, and I, while I'm talking, there will be a picture or video of me trying it on. So bam. Continuing with the Mr. Rogers theme. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even say that without laughing. Continuing with the Mr. Rogers theme, we have this jacket from Publish. It is a bomber jacket right here. This to me is extremely sick. Like this is a really, really high quality, heavy, heavy jacket. Um, the inside is like all black, um, if you guys can tell right there. So it does have an extra layer of thickness. So this is definitely something that you probably would wanna wear more towards winter. Um, so I'm not recommending copying it for spring, but you always have to be buying for other seasons too. You can't just buy for spring. So this runs um, a little snug. I would maybe recommend going a size up. This to me is a little more of the preppy look, the little Mr. Rogers look. Like I swear he'd rock this. I swear Publish made this with him in mind. Um, but nonetheless, it is an extremely sick bomber. Uh, heavyweight, high quality. So here you guys go, Publish. All right, you guys, continuing with the Navy Nation, Navy Nation, Hashtag Navy theme. Um, I have been eyeing um, Entree. You guys know Entree. Like I've shown Entree in my past videos. I've been eyeing their outerwear for a little while now and I never really pulled the trigger until a plunder haul. So here you guys go. We have this Navy and faux leather moto jacket or motorcycle jacket, whatever you guys want to call it. Biker jacket, whatever works. Bam, like that's kind of dope. Like, I know you guys are probably like, well, I wouldn't normally really want to wear faux leather. It I would rather cop the real deal. But this is like 180 bucks. I know it's pretty heavy, but for a biker jacket, that's actually a really good price. As you guys can tell on the back, you do see that navy nache right there. This runs extremely true to size. I would definitely recommend getting your true size. I'm trying to get my lighting bam, so you guys can see it a little better. Um, I will throw it on as I am talking right now. There are just amazing intricate details with it. Like on the sleeves, there's like a zip right here, a clasp right here. There's zips all along here. It's just an extremely like well thought out jacket. And so to see Entree kind of going from like a t-shirt brand to see them going into more of the outerwear is definitely something I look forward to, to see the progression and the growth. Something I always look forward to. So here you guys go, Entree Moto Biker Jacket, bam. All right, you guys, last up, but definitely not least, we have this um, denim jacket from Sabbath NYC. And kind of a funny story, when I was on Plunder, uh, I saw that it said, you know, denim jacket with leather sleeves from Sabbath NYC. And I was like, yo, that's kind of dope. So I clicked on it, but no picture would come up. But the price was originally like 350, and it was down to, it was like over half off. And I was like, yo, that's kind of dope. So I took the risk. I put the link, I sent the link to Erica and I was like, yo, let, let's do it. Let's, set, let's take the risk. So I had no idea what it looked like and I got it in and this is what it looks like right here. You guys go black uh, denim with the, I think this is real leather. I think it's real leather sleeves. So black denim with real leather sleeves. I mean, that would be the only way to justify the $350 price tag. And if it is fake leather, it is some of the like softest and nicest fake leather I've seen. Like you guys can tell in that light right there, like that's really durable and really like buttery and just so smooth. So didn't know what it looked like. Here it is now. Sabbath, what does it say on the back? I don't even know actually. Sabbath play something on the back, leather sleeves. It's got like this gold chain on the inside right there with the gold button right there. As you guys can tell some that I just said, you know what? Risk it for the biscuit. So let's just throw it on to show you guys a little bit what how it fits and what it looks like. I would definitely recommend probably going your true size on this. So Sabbath NYC, size medium, denim jacket with leather sleeves. So thank you guys again so much for watching. It means the world to know that you guys are supporting me still after almost two, wait, yeah. Oh man, I'm almost two years on YouTube. I think in another month, I'll be two years on YouTube. So that is a huge, huge milestone for me. So thank you guys again, everyone that has made it happen. To see the continued support is something that truly does mean the world to me. I literally say this every video, but I don't care because I still have to show how much you guys mean to me. Um, so thank you guys again so much for watching. The link to Plunder will be in the description down below. Click on it if you guys see anything you like in this video. I will try to provide direct links to the items that I showed off if they're still available. So thank you guys again so much for watching and remember to stay fresh, my friends.